Hey boys and girls, it's Mrs. Blocker. In today's lesson, we are going to talk about problem solving using data. So let's take a look at our learning goal. Our learning goal for today says, I can solve one step and two step problems involving graphs. So friends, that might mean that it's gonna ask you a basic question where you just have to do one operation to solve and one step, or it could ask you where you might have to do two operations with two steps to be able to solve a problem. But I know you guys can solve either way. So let's jump in and get started. Make sure to, before we begin, that you actually have your lesson template for today because you're gonna need that to make your graph. First, we're gonna start with our application problem. The following chart shows the number of times an insect's wing vibrates or wings vibrate each second. We're going to use the following chart clue or the following clues to compare the unknowns in the chart. So right now we can look here and we see that a honeybee um, has 350 wing vibrations each second. Wow, that's a lot. A beetle, we're not sure it's labeled a bee for beetle, but we're unsure of that. And a fly has 300, or sorry, 550, and a mosquito, we're unsure of that as well. So let's look at our first question. The beetle's number of wing vibrations is the same as the difference between the flies and the honeybees. So it's telling us that if we can find the difference between the fly and the honeybees, vibrations, then that's going to be the total number for the beetle. So if I look at the fly, there's 550, and the honeybee has 350. So I know that if I'm finding the difference, I'm subtracting. So my problem would be 550 minus 350. That would equal B, which is representing beetle in this example. So friends, I want you guys on your dry erase board, or I want you to at least be able to write down somewhere what the value of the beetle's wing vibrations each second are. So click play when you're ready to share your answer. And dun dun dun! 200 is the number of wing vibrations each second for a beetle. Okay, so that's a one-step problem because we're only having to do one thing to be able to solve that problem. Let's look at this. So we have our same chart, but this time I filled in 200 for a beetle because that's not an unknown piece of information anymore. Now we're going to look at the mosquito's number of wing vibrations is the same as 50 less than the beetles and flies combined. So this is a two-step problem. So I'm gonna kind of break apart our screen here. So the first part that we need to solve for is the beetles and the flies combined because they're saying in our problem over here, it's 50 less than the beetles and flies combined. Well, if I don't figure out what the beetles and flies combined is first, I can't figure out 50 less than that. So I would like for you guys on your paper to be able to solve for that. Let's look at the tape diagram that I came up with to see if this will help you to be able to solve it first. Oh, sorry, the second part of our problem is we're gonna figure out 50 less than the beetles and flies combined. So here I have 200, which is the beetle. I have 550, which is the fly. So if I combine those, I'm going to end up with, I'm gonna represent it as V for the missing vibrations that we don't know yet. So I'm gonna combine those. So 200 plus 550 is what friends go ahead and solve that on your dry erase board click play when you're ready to go over it together okay here we go so 200 plus 550 is 750. okay so that's just the vibrations we're not done yet we have to come over to the right hand side and solve the second step of this problem so we've done the first step and we need to do the second step which is 50 less than the beetles and flies combined. Well, we just figured out that the beetle and fly combined is 750. So I'm gonna show this in my tape diagram of that's my total. Here's where I'm not sure with the mosquito yet, we're trying to figure that out. And we know that this small part over here is 50, that's the less part. So we are going to 
subtract 750 minus 50 because it's 50 less to find the value of the mosquito. So go ahead and do that on your dry erase board and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. Okay, here we go. So 750 minus 50 equals 700. So the mosquito's wings vibration, wing vibration was 700 in each second. Wow, that just like blows my mind. They can flap and have their vibrations move 700 in one second. Whew, that's a lot. Okay, so now we're going to take all that data that we just collected and we're going to graph that. So we're going to create a bar graph from the data in our application problem and we're going to choose a scale that works best for the data the graph represents. So remember our scale is what is the unit that we're going to count by that goes along the side. So remember it's going to start with zero always. Okay, and if we look up here in the top, make sure that we have to figure out what scale is it going to be. Are we going to count by fives, tens? What can we count by? What do you guys think? Oh, I saw some of you were thinking, oh no, it can't be five, right? You might have been shaking your head as I said that. Hey, we don't want to have five because that's such a small number for our scale when our numbers are all in the hundreds. These are pretty big numbers. So we could use hundreds as we go through with this because all of our numbers end in zero so that could be an option for us so let's give that one a try so we're going to put our scale on our graph so this is where you need your lesson template um, to be able to go along and complete your bar graph with this one so I want you to label the scale along the side and we're going to go by hundreds so we're at zero 100 and then keep going so pause Go ahead and write the scale of your video of your graph. And then I want you to actually label the side of your graph. Remember how we talked about how we have to label each part? So I want you to label the scale with a description. Okay, so pause, do that, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. Okay, friends, so here's what mine looks like. I'm just gonna go up by hundreds each time and stop all the way at the top. And I've labeled this side number of wing vibrations each second. And you can see that I took that right from my chart up here. It's already here, so I don't have to reinvent or come up with something different. If it gives you that information in a chart already, just use what they gave you. It's totally fine. Okay. The next thing that I want to do is I want to come up with a title for this graph. And friends, look up here. It did it for us in the title of this chart. So I'm just going to add that to the title of my graph. Okay. Then we're gonna label our insects across the bottom. So we have a honeybee, a beetle, a fly, and a mosquito. If you don't wanna write all those out, you can write an HB for a maybe honeybee, a B for beetle, an F for fly, and an M for mosquito. That's absolutely fine. And then we don't forget, we wanna label that those are all insects that we're labeling across the bottom. Now we wanna come in and we wanna add our bar graph to this to represent each number. So let's look at honeybee first. Well, if we look up here, honeybee has 350. So I'm gonna shade in 100, 200, 300. Oh, but I can't go to 400 on this one because it doesn't go to 400. So what do I have to do to shade in on this next part to represent 350 or that 50 part? Yeah, I just have to go through and do half of it because half of 100 is 50. Okay, awesome. So now what I want you guys to do is I want you to pause the video and I want you to add in the rest of the data for the bar graphs for the honeybee, the beetle, the fly, and the mosquito. And then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, so here's what I came up with. We have our beetle, our fly, and our mosquito. Okay, so does your graph look like mine? Make sure you look carefully to see that, that that each part is equal to what you have. And notice here, this is 550, so we had to go halfway in between again as we were labeling that 50. Okay, so now we're gonna take our bar graph and we're gonna answer some questions. We're gonna do some problem solving. 
So it says write a number sentence to find the total number of vibrations two beetles and one honeybee can produce each second. So I'm going to look at my bar graph here. And first I'm going to look at a beetle and it tells me two beetles. So one beetle is 200. So I have to have that one beetle plus another beetle, which is another 200. Okay, so 200 plus 200, that represents my beetle. And now I have to come up with the honeybee. So friends, what's the um, number of vi wing vibrations for a honeybee? Yeah, it's 350, so I'm going to add that. So there's my number sentence that matches the total number of vibrations for two beetles and one honeybee. I want you to write that down and go ahead and solve for that as well. And then click play when you're ready to go over it together. Okay, here we go. So 750, ta-da! Okay, all right, awesome job with that one, friends. All right, let's do some more problem solving. So we're gonna use a tape diagram to compare how many more vibrations a fly and honeybee combined produce than a mosquito. Oh, so when they're talking about combining and then comparing to something else, that's what makes me in my mind think that this is a two-step problem. So I'm gonna separate my chart again, or my board here, and I have the first part is the fly and the honeybee combined. And the second part, is how many more vibrations a fly and honeybee combined produce than a mosquito. So that's where I'm getting into that second part. So what I want for you guys to use, um, I want you to do on your dry erase boards, I want you to use the information in the graph, and I want you to draw the tape diagrams for both parts of the um, question. So do step one and step two to find your final answer to the question. Pause the video, go ahead and do that, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, here we go. So we have the fly and the honeybee combined. The fly is 550 and the honeybee is 350. When I combine those, that's gonna give me the vibrations and the total vibrations for both the combined, actually, vibrations, because that matches what's in the problem, which is, a 550 plus 300 equals 900. So now in order to figure out my second step, I'm gonna use that 900 again. I'm not sure, um, excuse me, we have our then our 700 because we know that that's what the mosquito, the vibrations, wing vibrations of the mosquito, but we're not sure of this missing piece, okay? That's the difference in how many more the honeybee and fly can do than the mosquito. So now we're gonna subtract. So 900 minus 700 is 200, okay? All right, well done friends. You guys rocked it. Great job solving one step and two step problems involving graphs. So I'm super proud of you. You guys did a really good job. These can be a little bit tricky, especially those two step problems. So just make sure you take your time, draw those tape diagrams to help you to be able to solve it. That's a good strategy that you can use. Okay, so please head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete for your independent practice. As always, if you guys have any questions, please let me know, I'd be more than happy to help. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye friends.